fancy clapper. Wait, that didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't do anything either. There, that's, <laughs> uh, enough clap. It's already out of sync, yeah. Ruin um, the sit rep already. Oh, it's not a sit rep. We're off to a great start. <sighs> I'm going to start from the top. Okay. Fancy clapper. Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania Designer Studio. Designer Studio, yes. I'm Slam. This is Dan. Yep. And today we are here with the... This is the K-21. Nice. Infantry fighting vehicle. Okay. So It's Korean, uh, South Korean. South Korean, yes. yes. Made. Yes, I put the flag on to remind us we're working. <clears throat> so. Okay. Yeah. So this is a unique fighting vehicle. It is. So it, it's the South Korean equivalent of... Our um, Bradley? Bradley, yes. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is that you hold troops in the back, mm -hmm. and then you have this this gun on the on the on the the, the turret here. And in mm -hmm. this case, they have a nice big gun on here. Yeah, this is way bigger than what Bradley's sporting. What what caliber is this? You, you know, you just I, I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna guess it's a it's it's bigger than the the, the Bradley's gun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've seen it putting like rounds into things downrange. It looks pretty hefty. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's 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 no small gun. So this this is this is a pretty cool vehicle. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's the, the 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 South Korean military wanted to upgrade their existing infantry fighting vehicles, which they you know were you know. 30, 30, 40 years old at this point technology. They wanted to updo it, so they really built a new one from scratch, all domestically cool. produced, so. Awesome, I mean, if anybody has the, t the industrial base, it's South Korea. Right, so, right, and they wanted yeah. to not be dependent on somebody that could cut them off of, of supplies, so they wanted to make as much domestically produced vehicle as possible, and specifically to suit their needs as, as, as well, so. Not everybody can have a BAE systems <laughs> right, vehicle. Right, right. Or, or wants to have one. Yeah. Uh, so this is a great looking kit. So a NATO camouflage-esque. Uh, it's got some extra... Uh, yeah, the South Korea has their, their own their own camouflage. And, I, and it's not really a digital. It's, it's, very, it's very organic. So mm -hmm. it's hard to translate into the bricks. Um, I, at a certain point, I was like, okay, I can't copy this camouflage. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like a four-tone... Um, like woodland type thing. Yep. Right. It, it's it's yeah. reminiscent of like the, the NATO camouflages in the eighties, the, the early, yeah. early NATO camouflages. So, uh, like in the past, I've done stickers. We did that Korean main battle tank, and I did the organic stickers. Right. But not, not this time. Uh, it's it's a really yeah. boxy, blocky vehicle in real life. So it actually it, it looks pretty appropriate that we've done this way. <laughs> yeah. It's super cool. Uh, I, I can see off the top of my head, we got three opening hatches. So room for three guys on the outside. Yeah, the, the commander, the gunner, and then the driver gunner. up front. That's your crew. There, It is a three three person crew, crew. Three, three, com, three crew members. And then there's room for like, how many guys in the back normally? I, I think six or seven. Okay, so. it's, it's a big, biggish vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe even more if they really like decide to squish okay. it. But when you start fishing, putting guys in there and having things like uh, all your gear, your weapons, your, you know, it, it gets mm -hmm. pretty crowded in there. Um, um, and we've got an opening ramp. Opening ramp. It has the, the, the classic fighting vehicle ramp and ramp, door and ramp. So you have the opening mm -hmm. hatch and the door. But most importantly, you have the, the vehicle ramp where your infantry guys can scramble out of and, and uh, scramble out or in. Or in, yeah. yeah. T typically, you're going to go out. You drive to, it's a battle taxi to the front. You get out, <laughs> you fight. Um, this doesn't have uh, fighting. There's no, there's no, uh, no way for these guys to sh fight from the inside without opening a hatch. Okay. Um, there's a camera in the back, so you don't. When you open your, your tailgate, you're not going to open it up blindly into like a that's, machine gun nest or something. Like that's that. the the new standard. Is like know what's going on before you go outside. Right. And and and, and enter the fray. And this thing is just loaded with sensors. So, mm -hmm. um, the sort of battle doctrine for tanks is to have like a hunter killer setup. Where your gunner has you, typically in a tank, the gunner and the, the the commander would be able to just look straight ahead down the gun sight, and the commander would get a a a, a viewport of what the gunner's looking at. Mm -hmm. um, lately, they changed that document so the the commander of the, the vehicle, commander of the tank, would have an, their own all around periscope. They can see with thermals and everything. They can see all around the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So while the gunner is 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 destroying things, the commander could be. Planning the next shot. Yeah, looking all the way around 360. Yeah. And they've done that in this infantry fighting fighting vehicle, which is actually unique. I think it's the first time it's ever been. They've used tank optics, tank sensors in an infantry fighting vehicle. So hmm. this thing is like the perfect complement to a tank. You have your awesome. infantry along with the tank. It has its own devastating main gun, which is a, it's a giant machine gun. Mm -hmm. And then you have, on the side here, you have a couple anti-tank missiles. Oh, so. Awesome. So you yeah. can really hold its own. Your javelin-esque. 
type type of missiles. Of course, a Korean variant of, of their own design. So, um, I just spotted a couple extra tools hanging out the back. We've got wrench, hatchet, shovel. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The, the usual, the usual, what you'd have like your entrenching tools. There's some mm -hmm. kind of cool prints. You did you did some prints on the vision ports here. Yep. So the yeah, if the driver's going to close his hatch, there's there's periscopes that go around, yep. um, and you get two prints for to represent those. Did we ever figure out what this little sensor is off the side? Is that some sort of his own? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> there's a sensor on the side. Like we need to put that on the vehicle. <laughs> I don't know what it does. So, no. uh, there's surprisingly little information in English about this vehicle. <laughs> right. Yeah. So based solely off photos I can find. Right. Not not off of working information. Yep, a couple of other sensor prints on the top of the yep. turret. Yeah, you have uh, a sensor. Sensor. This is the the, the commander's 360 uh, device. So when he's they're buttoned up, he's down inside of there. This thing can see all around the tank. Yep. There's another sensor on the top. It's hard to see because the bottle of soju is in the way, but yeah. there is a, there is another sensor down in there. Right. Um, and uh, you got, got a, a grill. The grill is awesome. The, yep, we got a pretty solid grill print across a few pieces there. And of course, we've got convoy lights, which are just They're the, the standards. Back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's doing its. There you go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of convoy lights in the back. So and as you can see, it does have working suspension too. Yeah. So this is pretty squishy. It is. That's it's, a that's a slick suspension, Dan. It's well, some of the suspensions I've been doing lately have been so stiff that people have been. I mean, myself. I don't know about people, but I've been, I've been like, you really have to push down on this thing. I I loosened oh. it up and made it a little bit more squishy. It's not as complicated. Uh, therefore, I could take the money that would go into a complicated set of of, of uh, suspension and put it into something else like figures or um, uh, actually this one. I, I sacrificed some of the suspension working to have a bigger crew compartment inside, so you could actually fit some of these figures in there. Awesome. A bit more. Because uh, if you've if you've looked at some of the vehicles we've done lately, it's pretty chunky because of all the the inner workings of that suspension. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that takes up a lot of room. You start sac sacrificing internal yep. space to make it make it bounce. Yep. Uh, so yeah, the last print that's interesting is this soju bottle you've already mentioned. <laughs> this is soju. Uh, soju is a popular alcoholic beverage in South Korea, like twenty percent alcohol. It's it's, it's all... the national <laughs> beverage, yeah. of alcoholic beverage of, of Korea, and, and I'm sure anybody who's been stationed in Korea can can attest to that. It's is lethality. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hear it's great mixed with beer. Yeah. Uh, I, I've never yeah. had it. I was I was in an Asian market yesterday, in fact, looking at it on the shelf, going, "What do I get?" And I was like, I was just over. Well, I, I need to yeah. I need to do some research before I before you I dive into that. Yeah, there's a bunch <laughs> of flavors. Uh, this this one is branded a builder fuel, uh, which is uh, not our normal U.S. made energy beverages, but it does have Holly the cat on there, so it's a Holly flavored. Holly fla oh, is it flavored? Or is it just Holly, uh, or Holly brand? branded? <laughs> Holly brand. Yeah. Yeah. Holly Holly's got her trademark logo. So this comes with three bottles because this thing has a crew of seven. Yes, we have seven. We so Amanda did the uh, the, the the minifigures and and um, a, an excellent job. We mm -hmm. and thanks for the feedback. We actually had feedback from actual uh, Korean soldiers giving awesome. feedback on the figures. Mm -hmm. um, so all, incredibly we able, helpful. Yeah, we're able to get the figures. So it does come with seven figures. No coincidence that there's seven members of BTS who actually had to stop BTS for a while so they could join the, the, uh, the yeah the you know do their mandatory. Uh, service, ser yep, mm -hmm. service in the military. Uh, so we have seven. If you happen to get one of these BTS set, big, uh, sets, you can take your seven BTS members, stick their heads on here, and you've got the entire band. But um, That's great, a super cool idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should absolutely do that. Yes, right. and I didn't, I didn't bring my set. I have the set at home. It, it, you know, it's it's a thousand miles from here. But I'm going to, when this is done. I'm going to bring my set home and I'm going to set it up. <laughs> yeah. uh, stay tuned for dance numbers with, yes. with our <laughs> yeah, with our South Korean army, our soldiers. So you get mm -hmm. three crew members, four riflemen. The, the riflemen have two different weapons. Will from Brick Arms um, was gracious enough oh, to actually right. make these the K2 C1 rifles. These are the K2. That's the Korean um, native uh, battle rifle, and it, so is this an exclusive Brick Arms? Then? It's not exclusive. Uh, in the sense that you can only get it with this set, but it was because oh, of this set. So awesome. we were, do, you know, able able to do some arm twisting, I guess. I, I'm just asking really nicely uh, sometimes uh -huh. is, is the answer. But we have two different versions of the K2C1. One has 
um, the, the optics on it, the other is clean. Cool. Uh, we were seeing both, but definitely when we were polling the, the community, the, the K2C1, which is the carbine, uh, seemed to be more popular than the, the, big, the big clunking K2 rifle. So you have a C1, C2. You can buy these separately um, to equip more of your troops or backwards equip your troops. Maybe you have some older Korean <laughs> figures, um, but you'll be able to get some of those separately. There are a limited amount on, on our store right now. Um, set comes with seven, <laughs> seven guys, uh, which is going to make it on the high end. Uh, and the reason I did that one is because of the band. Because of the band, yes. Yeah, so you can <clears throat> you have right off. You, you don't have to like struggle to get your extra guys. But when we've been doing these sets, we're like, hey, here's the base model, and then you can order extra figures. Um, it, it's literally nine times out of ten, everybody orders the maximum amount of figures. So we're just making you buy the maximum amount of figures, then we don't have to monkey around with counting or extras later. So right now, the only way you can get the riflemen is with this set, but it's four riflemen, three crewmen. Um, yeah, so it, it does elevate that price a little bit, but that's you're, you're getting a whole lot with that. So. Fully checked out. Uh, flag is not included. Flag is not included. I just wanted yeah. to put that on there so we can... As a reminder of what yeah. we're talking about. Yep. Yep. Yeah, pay the extra buck 50, get yourself. <laughs> so. Super cool. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's some 3D printed fuel cans on there. I mean, this this is an all around... Oh, I should talk about... This. So you have the, the hatch. We don't have to talk about the swim vane. Oh, swim vane. This thing is actually amphibious. Huh. So when they upgraded the, the Bradley, the American Bradley was originally amphibious. And then they kept adding more armor until the, finally the until point where it wouldn't float longer. anymore. <laughs> uh, so, yep, that's a trade-off. So uh, when, when Korea, you know, in South Korea, um, all over the Korean Peninsula, it's very hilly, lots of valleys, lots of, you know, you're, 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 you have this mm -hmm. forest uh, terrain. You have this, uh, you know, hilly, hilly valley. Anytime you have hills and valleys, I mean, water runs downhill, you get creeks and, right. and small rivers. And, so. and, and they know from the, the Korean War that you, if you want to make a pinch point, knock out those bridges. Mm -hmm. So they made a, a completely amphibious, this thing is swimming, a swimming vehicle. The real thing, these side panels will actually open up and a big gigantic oh, and it, bladder and the, come I've out. seen that too, yeah, the, the, it's a, the bladder. It's a, big, it's a big rubber, black rubber bladder that, so yeah. it's, it's like the rubber ring that the, you know, you, 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 you know, yeah, you can yeah, take yeah. to the beach with you, but it's for the tank. So it actually has its own inflation system. These hmm. side skirts open up. So these are these these points right here are actually hinges, and it, it'll lift up the yeah. the skirts. This big rubber bladder will fill out. So somebody's going to have to make a mock with that. <laughs> okay. So, Challenge issued. I, I did not yeah. do it, <laughs> but it, it is it is something that would be awesome if somebody did it. That's super fun. Okay, and I see a Mark One tire stretcher here. Yeah, we haven't done a printed tire stretcher. That gag, I mean, it was a gag. Yeah. We did it a couple, a couple of times, a few years ago. Yeah. Um, decided to bring back the tire stretcher because I, I, cool. I didn't want, I didn't want the tire stretcher to be lost to history. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a one-trick pony. We went wanted the tire stretcher back. So, I mean, someday these will be as common as brick separators for people. Uh, <laughs> but you know, there, there is still that that task of stretching a tire over. A plate or a tile right. or whatever. So, so this serves a purpose, and we think it's cool. So yeah. this kit is not a pre-order. It is not limited edition, um, but it will not be repeated right away. So just like we did with the Australian okay. main battle tank last year, um, when we're doing these sort of like more obscure country things, yeah. Um, you know, a, a vehicle like this, we don't want to make it so it's just like a one and done because I think a lot of people will will see this. And go, I wanted to get that; it's already gone uh, okay. because we're not going to do South Korean vehicles very often. So, um, so this could be back down the line. If it, it could does be well. if yeah. it yeah if, if 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 demand warrants it, we'll bring it back. But uh, no guarantees. Um, so they're available. They will be available right away. Uh, made quite a few. This is the last of the non. Pre-orders. Yeah, this yeah. is this is this was worked on before New Year's. And, and okay. Yeah. It's just dropping. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it's a straight up drop. Uh, I I think I did this back in November, <laughs> and, and here we are finally finally the last of them. So everything from this point on is going to be pre-orders unless it's a small thing. So. All right. But, yeah. Well, it's it's a great little kit and super unique uh, and nice work on this. Right. So maybe the Australians will get the red bag version somehow. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> not, not this year. We'll let, we'll let this one sink in. This, uh -huh. We'll let this one marinate. We'll, yeah, marinate. We'll savor <laughs> this one for a while before we, we spoil it with the next 
flash in the pan. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else to note? No, I think we've talked too much. Right, that's it. <laughs> uh, thanks. We'll see you next time on Brickmania Designer Studio. Thank so. you.